Hey there guys, and once again, welcome back to more adventures in Minecraft. In this episode, I think we need to get a little more farmer-y. Kind of like Salvin or, uh, he'll be like kind of stuff. What we need to do is we need to get us some horses. So, I'm going to go out and look for some horses. As well as try to build a barn and a little garden. Oh, we've got our seeds set up. We've got everything we need. We just got all that we need. So, I, I think it's time to get some agriculture going. Growing. Yeah, whatever that is. It's time to do it. We spent too long not doing that. So it's time to do it. I've got jungle wood, but I kind of, uh, to tell you the truth, would rather have oak wood to do this. Because oak wood just looks a lot more farmy than jungle wood does. I mean, not many natives out in the jungle have horses. Well, that would be awesome if they did, but most of them don't. I have no idea why. Not very fair. Well, there's an oak tree out there. Yeah, so I guess we can just, like, that is standing alone on the mountainside. But I will go and cut it down shamelessly. Because, dude, I don't really care. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just going to cut the head down. And that's just how it's going to go. Sorry about that little tree. <gasps> oh, but I want my mommy. <laughs> but, Mr. Tree, I've got to cut you down. Oh, but my mommy always said I'd own a farm when I was older and I, I want to live till that. You can live, little tree. I'll cut you down and you'll be in your own farm. Okay, cut me down. Alright, it's a good thing that tree agreed or I may not have been able to do that. I have, like, very hard times doing things to people like that. Like, cutting people down, that's that's kind of hard. Um, Here's that tree's brother, so we might as well cut that, that down as well. We wouldn't want him to find out. What happened? Hey, where's my brother? Uh, hey, Mr. Tree, uh, don't sweat it. Uh, you're, you're just fine. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. You know, I wonder if I, uh... That's a bad thing to do, but I wonder if it'll give me more stuff because I have looting on that. I should make some shears. I didn't bring any iron ingots. That's very unthought- oh. <laughs> yeah, kind of have them right there. That's the only thing that's wrong. Really, only thing. I can't find another thing that's wrong. It's the only thing that's wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go back there and see if that tree drops some apples. I really do want some apples because apples are the key to finding a way to a horse's heart. Uh, then you, we won't have to go through the long taming process that we did with uh, Owl City in the last season. <laughs> that was kind of hard. Uh, here, yeah, here's some apples. All right, and I missed a piece of wood too. You almost forgot me. I'm sorry. That was close. You almost didn't get to go with your family. I would have murdered you in your sleep if I didn't get to go with my family. Uh, well, that's too bad. It's a good thing I found him, though. You know, every day we could be dying, and we just don't notice it. Disturbing thought, isn't it? Well, that's how that's how it goes. Just how it goes. Sorry, gonna have to live with it. Also, I uh, kind of am trying a new setup here. Look at down there. I've got the damage indicators uh, down in the bottom left corner. And I've got my face cam up in the top left corner. I can do this. I know the corners. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think, uh, you guys didn't really like the position of the face cam. You guys really did like the face cam, but you didn't like the position of it. So I'm like, okay, you know what? We can change that just to make you happy. Anything to make you happy. I'll do anything to make you happy. Usually a person would go right there, but I just went because that's how I groove. That's, that's just my style. Oh, I think it would be awesome if we did kind of like that. Just because that would probably be awesome, I don't know. Maybe possibly. Leave a comment. Is that awesomeness? Or is it not awesomeness? I bet it's awesomeness. Seriously, I do. I would just bet a million dollars that that was awesomeness. Because that's an easy win. And who doesn't want a million dollars? I don't know. Your grandma, maybe? Grandma? Might not want a million dollars? How did that happen? Did you guys see that? Look at this. Disgraceful. That's not even good at all. That's not how it's supposed to work. This is not how things work. I guess it's the timber mod. But those things were not connected like a tree is. Yes, we were. Oh, yeah, it's because that little baby tree and all his uh, psycho weirdo connection stuff. He's kind of the outcast at his school, so... Just the way it goes. Poor dude. Oh man, we ran out of wood. Okay, we got some more. Good. Good wood. We got it. 
This barn is going to be, like, really awesome. I think it needs to be about three blocks higher. Maybe, uh... If we're going to ride a horse in here, it might as well be. Because we got to get him out of the barn somehow. After all. Sad truth. We have to get them out of the barn. Hum. I'm going to make a little crafting table in here just for the time being. Because I don't want to keep running back in there, so I'm just going to make it in here. Then, we're going to craft some sticks. And make a couple fences. Or, no, we want to make a fence gate. Excuse me. We want to make... Oh, you're going to be defiant like that? All right. No, two can play at that game. I'm going to craft you. <gasps> no, I'm not. Oh, yeah. See, I'm being defiant. Oh, yeah. All right, two fence gates. And um, put them kind of like that, I guess. And, yeah, that'll be a good barn. I really like that. We can just walk right in here. Waltz right in. So that's going to go. Lottie. Uh... This can be a, like a safe haven for all the little birds that want to come in here and be awesome. Oh, I know what we need to do. This is Man Donald's. That's the Man Cave. And that needs to be the Man something. I don't know. It just needs to be something manly. Do I even have... Oh, Andrea the Sheep, get out of the way. You were blocking my crafting table. That's not very nice. I almost thought, just because of what you did, that I didn't have a crafting table. Now that would have been pretty bad, wouldn't it have? Because then I would never be able to craft anything again. It's pretty bad. Uh... Man... Oh, my pencil. <laughs> man... Awesome... Shack. Oh yeah! Man Awesome Shack. Now we gotta get some Man Awesome Horses. And really I have no idea where the horses are these days. I got two apples, got two saddles. I am all set and prepared. And ready to go out and find a horse. I just love uh, acronyms. Not acronyms. That makes me sound stupid. Acronyms are those little uh, letters that mean things. They talk to me. Uh -huh. On my phones are the words that sound the same but aren't. And uh, why can't I think of that? An emerald for five melons? Dude, that's terrible. I have melon seeds. I'm going to start my own farm without you. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. <laughs> Just need me. <laughs> uh, we're not going to find any horses in the desert, sad to say. I actually don't think that'd be too good. Not going to find any there. We probably want to look in the extreme hills instead. We're going to be a lot more likely to spawn horses in extreme hills. Well, I think they spawn there anyway. I'm not sure. Maybe I saw them spawn there. But we got to hurry because it's getting to be night and that's kind of bad. No, it's not night. It's raining. That's the problem. Oh, so that's how it's going to be, huh? It's going to rain on me? Nope. Because I went in the desert. Ponage. Epic ponage. Got to admit it. Got to admit it. That's epic ponage. All right. We're spawning pigs and sheep here. And since horses are sociable farm animals, I'm guessing that they want to be with their sheeps and pig friend. And they want to be in extreme hills. So, Mr. Horse, got any anywhere? Come on. Come out of hiding wherever you are, Mr. Little Horse. Touching music. Yeah, the bad thing about this is when I spit on the face cam, you guys can all see it far too clearly. That's a sad thing. Because I used to be able to spit on the screen and then not tell anyone. I was just like, <laughs> no one knows. And sometimes I almost pause to mention it. But then I'm just like, hey, nobody can see my spit on the screen. But now that's all changed. You can see my spit on the screen. <laughs> we need to make an emo song about this called Spit on the Screen. It's premiering tomorrow with absolutely no thought put into it. Gotta write it now. The only thing left to do is write the song. And it's premiering tomorrow, so please go buy the, my EP. My album. Or whatever you call those things. I think we're going into new spawning territory, because I've never been, like, out the other side of this Extreme Hills. Looks like we're going to hit some snow. But I would hope that we'd find a horse first. Because, see, oh, you had a better trade than that other guy. I see what you're doing. You're ahead of him in all the deals, huh? Is that how it's going to be? Alright. 
Fine. It's really strange. There should be horses everywhere. Oh, lightning almost struck you, Mr. Uh, dolphin. You're lucky. You are terribly lucky about that. Also, I tend to get sidetracked, so... I'm seeing uh, that little thing down there. Probably just an obsidian thing. But it it's calling to me. It says it will love me and care for me the rest of my life. So I'm just like, okay. Mr. Obsidian Shack! You did not. Oh, it saved me from the lightning. That's what it was good for. Alright. I get where you're going now. Thank you, Mr. Obsidian Shack. Whole thing. Man, it's dark. Oh. Alright, I'm going to stop recording and then I will get back with... Awesome. All right. Uh. <gasps> no. That was close. I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. Uh, I, I actually didn't mean to jump at all there. That was that was very bad. All right. I will meet back with you when I found a horse and we'll put it in our barn. So I'll see you then. <laughs> um. So about one crash later, <laughs> Minecraft and Fraps both crashed at the same time. Don't ask me how that happened. Uh, we are still on the search for a horse. I found this awesome beach, though. I think I'm going to waypoint it. And I'm going to call it Awesome Beach. Because that's how it goes. And I think I'm going to make it light blue like that. Because light blue is probably the best color there is ever invented. I really like light blue for some reason. I just think it's a nice, peaceful, as well as cool color. Works for both boys and girls. It's really... Oh, yes! Okay! And, well, you know, it's exactly the same color as our friend, Brownie. Alright, buddy, here you go. Brownie. Ooh, what should I name this horse? Didn't think about this. Hmm, maybe I'll name him Brownie. Is that how I spell Brownie? Yeah, maybe. People spell their name different ways. Uh, <laughs> that's the best I can remember from the time I first got him. I think that's how my dialogue went. Something like that. Something very, very close to that. Oh, snap. You know what I forgot to do? Uh, I'm going to give you a... Uh, how, do you, how do you dismount? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. F. I think you dismount. Yeah. I'm going to give you another ample... Um, ample. That's what it's called. Hey there guys, and welcome back to the second episode of Divine RPG. Is there an Enderman outside? Uh, there might be. Let's go Which kill is, him. Which is bad. To begin the episode. Of course. Oh, it's probably daytime, so he probably just spawned. Yeah, and he right. teleported away. It's like just when we start the episode. That was perfect. Yep. <laughs> he just had to come interrupt. Anyway, in this episode, we are going to be heading into the caves, just like we promised.